Hello, it's Phil Thatch, and as you can see, I've got my Go Big Orange on because Heather and I are on the way to Knoxville to attend, not photograph, the number one ranked Tennessee baseball team as they are playing Alabama today. But we stopped on the way because we were traveling north and we stopped at Percy's uh, birding secret location. And uh, you may recall from a video a little ways back, we, we came here to Percy's secret location and we photographed a barred owl. Well, Percy called me up on Wednesday afternoon because he knew I might do some photography on Thursday. And he said, hey, we, I saw a northern perula, which is a bird that personally I've never photographed and Heather's never photographed. Uh, and he said he saw one here at this location thinking I might come on Thursday, which is my regular bird photography day, but I didn't. Today is Sunday and we are on the way to the baseball game. And while we were coming kind of right past here, Heather and I stopped and Percy recommended that I not use my 800 because the bird is pretty close to uh, where the car would be. So I took his advice and I used my 100 to 500 and the 1.4 teleconverter. And Heather used her Nikon Z50, the FTZ adapter, and the 200 to 500, which also has a pretty decent minimum focus distance. And we, uh, it took us a little while, but we finally found the northern perula and we made a few photographs of it so this is just going to be a really quick video just one bird uh, but it's a first time bird for both heather and i so let's take a look at the northern perula photographs that heather and i made here at percy's secret bird location as has become the norm lately the photos that say canon r6 at the bottom left are photos that i made and the ones that say nikon z50 at the bottom left our photographs that Heather made. The first time the bird came down low enough for us to get a photograph of it, the pose wasn't very good and it was kind of looking at the back of the bird. But Heather and I each shared some photos of this particular perch because we thought it was beautiful, the olive patch on the back, kind of in, I guess, where the shoulders would be on this bird. We liked that little olive area and it's unique and not featured on any other part of the bird. Wait a minute, what kind of bird is that? Right across the street from where the northern perula was, there was a field that had some cattle in it, and this one in particular was paying attention to us and gave us a couple of moos, so I made a headshot of it. The northern perula is a long distance migrant. They spend the winter months in Mexico, Central America, and the Caribbean, and then during the spring and summer they come up to the middle and eastern United States and southern parts of eastern Canada. I already mentioned the olive feathers on the back of the bird but in this shot you can see the blues and grays and yellows and browns and chestnuts and whites. There's just all sorts of great colors and I like the white eye patches just above and below the eye. Heather had absolutely perfect timing as she caught this beautiful photograph of the northern perula. We believe this is a breeding plumage male and she caught it singing there in this perch almost completely unobstructed unlike some of the later pictures. Here is my photograph of the bird on the exact same perch as Heather's was just a moment ago where the bird was singing and it's interesting how much differently we decided to edit our photos this time. I went with a much darker background than Heather did but Heather was also in the back seat of the car and I was in the front seat and as you can see there was a lot more green in the background from her angle on this bird as there was on my shot of the exact same perch. A lot of times with bird photography, especially tiny bird photography like this, there's not time to work on composition while you're in the field. You just get the bird in focus when it happens to land somewhere near you and fire off a bunch of shots. You can work on composition with your crop later on in post. This is a photograph of mine and this next one also on a completely different perch. On this one, it was singing and it's in a dogwood tree and you can see how small the leaves of the dogwood tree are and how tiny this bird is. It's not much bigger than your thumb. Just a very small and beautiful bird and we were so happy to see it. And look at this, here's a little bonus picture. This is with the same gear, the 100 to 500 and the 1.4 extender of a beautiful plump little song sparrow on our back porch. And I took this picture around the same time so I thought I would share it with you in this video. All right, thanks for watching this video from Percy's secret bird location where Heather and I photographed the first time we've ever seen 
a northern perula in the flesh so that was really cool and now we got to get back on the car and head to knoxville and see a baseball game thanks for joining us hope to see you in the next one subscribe hit the bell all that stuff bye bye from somewhere in east tennessee